So it's been a year now since venturing beyond the familiar comforts of Canada. I embarked on a transformative odyssey to explore the possibilities of a digital nomad lifestyle, inspired by the tales of influencers living extraordinary lives on a budget my journey took me across the enchanting landscapes of Indonesia, the Philippines, and Thailand. In this video, I'm gonna share with you which country was my favorite to live in as a digital nomad by comparing their nuances across four criteria, adventure, food, what the locals are like, and the cost of living. So hopefully in your own life, this will help you decide where you wanna to travel to next as a digital nomad. All right, let's go. Bali, a jewel in the Indonesian archipelago, unfolds as an adventure enthusiast dream. The island boasts an extensive checklist of natural wonders. Waterfalls cascading through the lush greenery, majestic mountains inviting exploration, and pristine oceans perfect for a myriad of water sports. Whether it's the thrill of surfing, the tranquility of yoga, retreats nestled in the mountains, or the exhilarating experience of helicopter rides, Bali scores a perfect 10 in the adventure category, offering something for every digital nomad's taste. Okay, food category. The culinary landscape of Bali is a rich tapestry woven with diverse flavors, reflecting its status as a melting pot of cultures. From the vibrant street food stalls offering local delights, to the upscale high-end restaurants catering to international tastes, Bali's food scene is a testament to its cosmopolitan appeal. The island has evolved into a gastronomic hub, featuring a fusion of Western and local cuisine. While the affordability of local eateries remains, the rise in popularity has nudged prices upward. Nevertheless, Bali continues to offer a range of dining experiences, earning a commendable score in the food category. Now the cost of living. Delving into the practicalities of digital nomad life, the cost of living in Bali is a nuanced equation influenced by factors such as location and lifestyle choices. Rent for bachelor apartments spans the spectrum from $400 to $600 in the more serene outskirts to $1,000 to $1,400 for those seeking a private villa in bustling areas like Changu. My personal monthly expenditure, encompassing surfing activities, groceries, and dining out, averaged around $1,500. It's worth noting that Bali's growing popularity, fueled by social media, has contributed to an increase in prices making it imperative for digital nomads to navigate wisely. My lifestyle usually consisted of surfing four or five times a week and having a weekend excursion to smaller islands off of Bali, which was a real treat and made it really special living there. Overall, I would say I loved it in Bali and I would definitely go back. The only biggest complaint that most people have about Bali, including me, is the traffic. The traffic is insane. And mostly it's because of the mass tourism and explosion on social media all these people give off a helpful and easygoing nature which is a stark contrast to the bustling streets of north america or the uk the friendliness extends to simple gestures like greeting while walking down the street or creating a welcoming atmosphere in their home or going into a restaurant. Thailand with its diverse landscapes and cultural vibrancy unfolds as a haven for digital nomads seeking varied adventures. From the bustling cityscape of Bangkok to the tranquil retreats of Koh Lanta, the country caters to a spectrum of preferences. Similar to Bali, Thailand offers a perfect 10 in the adventure category, providing an abundance of water sports, jungles, mountains, and unique formations of rock that you can and exotic secluded beaches. The digital nomad hotspots in Bangkok and Phuket contrast with the laid back settings of more remote areas offering a versatile range of experiences. I spent most of my time at Koh Lanta, which is a very quiet, remote part of Thailand. I'd often go to the small town, which is near my villa, right where I work at the edge of the ocean drink cappuccinos in small quiet restaurants that were sprinkled along the beach. For recreation I would either be doing Mai Tai, swimming in the ocean, working out, or just hanging out in my backyard, relaxing, watching the monkeys and wildlife. It was a very quiet area, very remote. Okay, Thai cuisine, renowned for its intricate flavors and aromatic spices. 
contributes significantly to Thailand's allure. The food scene encompasses a wide array of choices, from bustling markets in rural areas to exquisite dining options in metropolitan cities. Thailand stands out with its affordability and variety of food, scoring a perfect 10 in the food category. The richness of culinary choices, coupled with the welcoming ambiance of local eateries, positions Thailand as a culinary delight for digital nomads. Cost of living. Thailand emerges as more budget-friendly destination compared to Bali. The cost of living is notably lower, with accommodations and dining options catering to a range of budgets. Securing a spacious two-bedroom villa by the ocean for approximately $600 is an enticing prospect, further solidifying Thailand's appeal. The availability of exotic homes is even less during certain times of the year, making it an attractive choice for a digital nomad seeking affordability without compromising on quality of life. Okay, locals category. The Thai locals, while exhibiting a more reserved demeanor compared to Bali, present a unique warmth. While Thais may seem reserved, this trait is more a cultural distinction than an indication of unfriendliness. Building connections and friendships in Thailand involves embracing the local style, which is a distinct blend of warmth and reserve. I made friends with two owners of a local restaurant, probably um, because I was there almost every day. Anyway, they gave me a surprise gift on my last day. It was a bag of fresh local coffee beans. It was very thoughtful. Okay, Philippines, a symphony of affordable beauty. Adventure category. The Philippines, an archipelago boasting over 7,000 islands, unfolds as a tapestry of diverse adventures. From surfing and scuba diving to hiking and exploring waterfalls, each island offers a unique set of experiences. The adventure scale in the Philippines rates a perfect 10, providing digital nomads with a plethora of options. While some islands specialize in certain activities like surfing and others snorkeling, the overall diversity ensures there's something for everyone. I stayed on an island called Sargao, which is a small island in the eastern side of the Philippines, and it's known as a hub for surfing. It is a very busy digital nomad hotspot, touristy, energetic, and has lots of nightlife. It was very fun. It was also more expensive than the rest of the island. I spent a few weeks there and then I moved onwards to a very remote part of the island called Pacifico. Pacifico is a very quiet part of the island and it's much lower in cost in terms of food prices and rentals. And this was one of my favorite spots in all of the Philippines. Food category. Okay, the culinary scene in the Philippines mirrors its cultural diversity, offering a variety of culinary delights whether it's bustling cities or remote islands. The country provides an extensive range of food choices. The affordability and variety of Filipino cuisine contribute to a nine in the food category. From street food to local delicacies, the Philippines invites digital nomads to embark on a gastronomic journey, which costs much less than Bali and Thailand. But Thailand still has more diversity overall. So that's why I gave Thailand a 10. Cost of living. Now, cost of living in the Philippines. The Philippines emerges as the most budget-friendly destination among the three. With an estimated monthly cost ranging around $1,000, digital nomads can enjoy a surfing daily, rent a surfboard, have a scooter, and secure accommodation in a hostel or a small apartment. For those seeking a more lavish lifestyle, expenses may hover around $1,300 to $1,400. The Philippines' cost of living combined with its diverse offerings positions it as an attractive destination for digital nomads, prioritizing affordability. Okay, the local category in the Philippines. The Philippines stand out for their exceptional, friendly, and accommodating nature. A unique warmth characterizes interactions with locals, making the Philippines a standout destination in the locals' category. Genuine hospitality is deeply ingrained in Filipino culture. And this is quite evident right from the start. The Filipino's helpful and kind demeanor contributes significantly to the overall appeal of the Philippines for digital nomads. I had an accident and ended up in the hospital for a week with surgery and while I was there in a scooter accident. It's actually a long story, I'm fine now, but if you'd like to know more about that, I can make a whole video about it. I did talk about it in my previous video as well. Anyways, two employees from a restaurant that I used to frequent every day in the Philippines actually accompanied me the whole week I was in the hospital. They stayed with me overnight 
in the hospital room to make sure I was okay. It was incredibly kind and thoughtful and I couldn't believe it. Her name was Trixie and she works as a waitress and makes $4 a day. Even though she couldn't afford to miss work, she took the time to stay with me for three days. Then she got her mom, a complete stranger at the time, to stay the rest of the time in the hospital to make sure I was okay. This is just an example of how kind the Filipinos can go and what lengths they can go to help you out. So 10 out of 10 for locals in that category. As I reflect on this year-long odyssey, each country has etched its own unique imprint on my digital nomad journey. Bali with its vibrant adventures and cosmopolitan charm, Thailand with its diverse landscapes and affordability, and the Philippines with its symphony of affordable beauty and warm locals. All contribute to a rich tapestry of experiences. Despite the allure of Bali's adventure and the affordability of Thailand, the Philippines emerges as a personal favorite. The warmth of its people, coupled with the country's affordability and the plethora of islands to explore, creates a unique blend that resonates with my digital nomad aspirations. While each country has its distinct allure, the decision on where to go next becomes a deeply personal one. So in wrapping up this comprehensive exploration, the intention is to serve as a guiding light for fellow digital nomads navigating the vast landscape of possibilities. Beyond the Instagram worthy scenes and travel influencers tales lies a nuanced reality. One where the beauty of the journey, the beauty of the journey lies not just in the destinations, but in the unique experiences of each country offers. Whether it's the vibrant adventures of Bali, the diverse tapestry of Thailand, or the symphony of affordable beauty in the Philippines, each destination beckons with its unique charm. As digital nomads, our choices are not just about where to work, but about crafting a lifestyle that resonates with our aspirations. The odyssey continues, and as we embark on new journeys, may these insights provide a compass for making informed choices and experiencing the true essence of the digital nomad lifestyle.